So Matterkind was launched on May 4th of this year. Uh, it was actually a, a while in the making. It, it's really the, the third phase of IPG's approach to help our clients take full advantage of data-driven marketing. So after the acquisition of Axiom in 2018, uh, Knesso was created in 2019, and now uh, Matterkind is, has a mission to deliver addressable activation for our clients, leveraging ethically sourced data from Axiom, uh, technology that we develop in Knesso, and then integrating with myriad of tech partners and platforms uh, to activate programs that span devices and channels and really moves us further into uh, enabling clients to focus on, on business outcomes and delivering high quality uh, audience experiences with advertising. So it's very exciting. One of the things that we have a big focus on is conscious marketing. And the notion there is how do we, uh, in a very digital responsible way, create conscious connections between brands and consumers. Yeah, so I think first it's interesting as, as we've been around for a while, but <laughs> you and I like that term addressable, when you bring it up in the TV context, often um, people think of the small footprints of the initial forms of addressable TV advertising. And really what we've seen over the, the past few years is a, uh, a tremendous growth in the amount of inventory and partners that are able to deliver uh, data-driven advertising. And so, um, you know, leveraging data such as what's available from Axiom and combining that with data that our media partners have, we're able to deliver um, more addressable experiences. You know, on top of that, you have what's happening in the OTT space, the CTV space. So, you know, we're lining up for this opportunity to really um, bridge the gaps that have existed traditionally between linear TV, um, you know, what we think of as uh, addressable TV, and then what we're able to access through OTT and CTV. So a lot of acronyms there, but, um, you know, we're, we're able to do a lot more with the data. And our focus has been on connecting data with our uh, inventory partners and leveraging technology to help our agency partners, our planning teams gain, uh, gain greater intelligence on the programming that we should be running ads with, um, the ge geographies, demos, uh, and really, you know, the audiences we should be targeting. And then because of our relationship with Axiom, we are able to, in cases where um, we have clients selling products, deliver closed loop measurement and um, greater visibility into sales. And I think first, you know, to acknowledge what's happening in, in the U.S. today and obviously the, the world, both from the pandemic and then also um, what's been happening, you know, most recently in America, given, um, you know, last week's violence, a lot of the protests that are happening, you know, it's, all, it's a very sensitive period in history for our employees, for our partners, for the brands. And um, in a lot of ways, it, 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 it really um, begs us to focus on what's, what matters most and what's important. Um, and so, you know, we had a decision back in April on whether or not to actually go through with a launch. And one of the reasons why we actually decided to do it was we, we, we really um, see the, the future of being more of um, enabling markers, marketers, like I said earlier, to create conscious connections with their consumers. And what that means is they need to be more responsive um, to make sure that their messaging has more rigor behind it, that it's as relevant as it could be, that they're adapting to what's happening in the environment. You know, I think um, we have a responsibility to ensure that customers aren't um, seeing advertising as a, a negative. Um, and, you know, that we're also giving uh, the, the, our media partners the opportunity to, to um, publish, you know, really important content that needs to be put out there on a lot of these subjects and topics. So, um, you know, there was, I, we thought, you know, 
there's never a good time to go through change. Change is something that you have to take hold of, embrace. And so that was why we launched Matterkind now. Um, and then to your point, you know, it's interesting. Marketers crave and love things like predictability, right? Um, it's why there's a huge business around media mix modeling, um, you know, artificial intelligence. And, you know, in the current environment, there's really not a lot of predictability. We don't know what's going to happen three months from now, let alone two weeks from now. And so um, what, what's happened is there, there's been a lot of clients having to pause activity, um, whether that's short term, long term, and really look and evaluate their investments. And so when, it, when, when that sort of happened in line with what is traditionally the upfront period of time, it actually gave uh, you know, many of us an opportunity to also take that pause and continue to invest in what we've done from a, an audience first strategy and approach, ensure that um, the technology integrations we're doing with media partners uh, continue to get to a point where our clients are able to leverage those um, connections as they're in, a, in this more fluid and responsive environment. So, you know, in, in many ways, um, as you said, change is, is sort of all around. And I think from a marketer's perspective, there is a, a need to embrace that sort of responsive, agile, and adaptive approach. And Sean, just to get a little bit deeper in the weeds on linear addressability, what does that mean to you and how practical is that? And, and what are you activating around linear, linear addressability? Yeah, I mean, not, you know, not to get into to, to, to over uh, detail or to you know, get into what we're doing from a you know, IP standpoint, but we're working very closely with the partners to bring high value audiences um, into how we identify and select inventory um, and making that uh, a new currency for how we, um, you know, transact and operate. And, you know, so there's um, been a lot of work, as you know, um, on the, the network side on developing their own um, audience intelligence and data driven linear products. And so um, what we see as an opportunity is, you know, behind uh, connecting those pieces so that we can offer our clients um, greater control and visibility into their, their advertising. 